Hey monkeys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a simple gorilla tag profile picture in Blender. So yeah, let's go. First things first, go into the description and open up the GitHub page. After you've done that, download the, the gorilla tag stuff file. I'll cut back to when it's done downloading. Okay, so then, now that that's installed, I'm just going to close the browser. Or go into your downloads, and as you can see, you've got gorilla tag dot stuff dot zip. Now open it up and take out the file from the inside. I'm just going to copy and paste it back into my downloads folder. <coughs> take a second, but it'll paste right there. As you can see, it's right there. Now go into the description and open up the Discord server. This Discord server. This isn't my Discord server, by the way. Now it'll take you straight to verify. You just want to click this check mark. Then you want to scroll down, and then you want to find a GT files. Open that up and scroll up until you find monkeymancool.blend da it'll download, now I'll click exit now I'll double click on it and so it opens in blender as you can see it's open in blender now if your hands look like this like me, all you want to do is you want to select the mesh, hold shift and select mesh and the, the armature then click, t click control P and scroll down until you find with, um, with automatic weights and I'll just bring the arms up to the actual body part itself. Now that you've done that, click on like the actual player itself, which would be just Gorilla, as you can see up in the corner. I'm just going to open that, and you see Scene. Now I'll click on Shading, and you'll see Monkey Color. Select it, and then you can just change the color all you want. I'm just going to make it a nice pink color. After you've done that, go back to Layout. And if you want to change the camera, click on the camera icon up here, and as you can see, this is what would be rendered. I don't want this to be rendered, so click on view, navigation, and walk navigation. Now use the WSD to move, and use your mouse to like move it around like this. So you're going to look at your character, and I think there, now you click, and everything should be good. Now, go, I'm just going to click the icon again, and now I'm back. Now to import hats, you want to click on file, import, FBX, and you just want to find your Gorilla Tag stuff folder, open it up, and open up cos Cosmetics, FBX files, and I just want the cat ears. Now, if you haven't tinkered with the head, it should align perfectly. So, as you can see, I've got the cat ears right there. Now, as you can see, they're pink, which I don't want. So, you want to click on Shading on the cat with the cat ears selected. So, let me click you select cat ears. And as you can see, you've got a file right here, so you want to click on this. And you want to go back over to your downloads. You're going to go, to go back to go over to the gorilla tag stuff dot folder. And you open it up, click on cosmetics, hat textures, and select hatless. Now that you've done that, as you can see, it's gotten the texture right there. I also want the um the rosy cheeks as well. And if it doesn't work, select if this doesn't work, the hatless. There's two there's multiple textures. So anyway, um now I want the hat. I just want the rosy cheeks, so I'm just gonna import FBX. Scroll down until I find rosy cheeks, and as you can see, they're sideways, which I don't want. So I'm gonna get the rotate tool and just rotate them in front of the gorilla. See, I didn't need to do that. And it controls that if you accidentally mess something up. That seems about right. Now I'm just gonna push it forward a bit. Now I'm gonna go back into shading. Select, oopsie, that's not what I want, that's the cat ears, I want to select the rosy cheeks, select, go back over to the downloads, real tech stuff, cosmetics, hat textures, and if it doesn't work, you select this file right here, so yeah, I'm going to select Atlas, and as you can see, it's applied the texture, right there, and I say this looks pretty good, I'm just going to move it a bit more forward, and now, after you've done everything and you're happy with what it looks like, click F12. Now it's gonna start to render. It'll take about like it'll take about one two minutes around there. So just be patient. I'll cut back to when it's done. And yeah. And boom, it's done rendering as you can see. And now just come up to here and click on select image and just save as. I'm just gonna save it as uh monkey profile picture. And I'm just going to save that to my pictures folder. Click save. And yeah. Now just go find it. And yeah. So that's how you get a custom profile picture. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. 
and to give some respect to the pe- people, like the owner of the Discord server, and people like that. Because I don't own any of this, I just wanted to make a tutorial on how to do this. So I didn't make any of this, this is all them, so pay respect to them. But yeah, thank you for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and goodbye.